Hello all. <clears throat> so today we are gonna make food. <laughs> no. So I'm gonna make some fried mushrooms, which I'm not gonna show you because you guys already seen it. If you haven't, just check out my videos. Um and I'm gonna make rice. Um definitely not showing you that either. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna try to fry up some tofu. Yes. But here's the kicker. So, I was going for this recipe where it said, I guess you fry it twice. Oh, no, fry it twice. You freeze it twice and then, like, throw it out and then fry it. And it's supposed to be looking more like chicken or give you a better texture. And it's not supposed to be so mushy. Yeah, about that. So, I didn't know I was supposed to take the water out. And this package of tofu, I think, got frozen and thawed out and frozen and thawed out. Maybe three times. Oops. Shit happens. I ain't gonna tell you what happened in the last few weeks. But. We're gonna try it again. So. You wanna see what this tofu looks like? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm low key nervous. But. It needs to get done. So. It's still a frozen block. <laughs> it looks hilarious. What I'm going to do is try to chop it into cubes, season it. I'm going to, should make a liquid for it, but we're not going to do that because we hungry and we trying to hurry up because we only got so much time before we got to go to work or start getting ready for work and do our weave. But, so what I am going to do is chop it up, put it in the batter or yeah, my batter concoction the same one that i'm going to use for the mushrooms and attempt to fry it and hopefully it's not mushy and hopefully it tastes better this is my first time making tofu i just hope i like it if not but you won't have to figure it to figure out well let me get off this floor and I can show you what my tofu looks like. Ah, Alright, so. <laughs> and now it's looking like that because it's frozen. And I didn't drink the water like I was supposed to. So, I'm going to attempt to get the cutting board out. I kind of wanted to throw it out just a little bit because I think this is going to be hella hard to try to cut. So I'm going to stick this in a little bit of warm water just so it thaws out just a little bit so it's not so hard to cut. <sighs> Pray for me all. Pray for me all. We will be back. All right, so... We let it thaw a little bit. We cut it into cubes. So now we're going to season it. We're going to use some adobo. Of course, I don't have my ingredients ready. Why would I? Right? You can pretty much use whatever you want. So we sprinkle it. Make sure we season the flour. Right, so use that. I'm going to use. Onion powder. I'm gonna use use some of these. I'm legit using just what I find in here. Okay, what else am I gonna use? And I guess I'll use the rest of the garlic and parsley. Then I'm going to use a little bit of this. And a little bit of a whole organizer for this cabinet. And unfortunately, it didn't get fit in the cabinet. A little bit of steak seasoning. It's really just herbs. Oh, let me check on my rice. Hold on. So now we grab our spoon. 
mix this bad boy up. I always feel like I don't season it enough. Alright. Mix it up. Hopefully I seasoned it enough. Don't feel like I did. Never feel like I did. Just gonna put a little bit more seasoning because like I said, I do not feel like I seasoned it enough. I never feel like I seasoned it enough. But I mean it tastes it tasted good. Chili lime blend seasoning. Eh, it is. Nope, it's not open, so we're not going to try it. Uh, let's put more of this in there. Then you could either put almond milk on it or water. I'm going to put water. You usually put the same ratio as you did on the flour. Same amount of flour as you do with water or milk, almond. But we didn't measure so we want it as the consistency of punk cakes so i'm going to use it for my tofu first this way if i don't have enough for the mushrooms it's fine we just do it like that i gotta wipe them down all right so now the water i love you up i hope i have the right consistency i think i made a batter enough to know the consistency i want sometimes i'm not gonna lie i'm off but Not too high. All right, let's see. Ah, that's perfect. See how? Oh, see how it sticks on. So now I'ma dunk these bad boys in. Wish I had breadcrumbs. It's downstairs. I don't want to go through all of that. So we're gonna dunk these bad boys in the tofu. Oh no, dunk the tofu in the flour. All right, hopefully I get them crunchy like I want to. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fry the mushrooms last. This way I can get the leftover batter. Um, I'm gonna rinse out my mushrooms. I'm gonna coat these bad boys. And then when it's time to come out, when they're all done, I am going to show you. I'm still kind of nervous, but I think I got it. I think I got it. I love you back, guys. My rice tastes good. I made yellow rice with corn. And you hear that's my oil. So, let's throw these bad boys in there. Oh, I don't think that oil is hot enough. Oh, my oil isn't hot enough. So we're going to take that one out. So I think next time we got to make our batter just a little bit thicker. I'm not going to put more flour in it now, but we got to make it just a little bit thicker next time. Next time we got to measure. That's what we need to do. Some donies in there. And like I said, when they are done, which it shouldn't take any more. I mean, it's, it's tofu. It's a sponge. Oops, I just made a mess. I'll clean that when I'm done. So we're going to throw a little of these pieces in the foil. Probably let them fry for like two minutes. At least until it's golden brown. Because, I mean, yeah, it's a little frozen in the middle. Just a little bit. But how long is it really going to take to fry tofu? All right, I think that's enough for this batch. I'll be back when it's done. I hope it tastes like something. You guys know I'm not a fan of tofu. As long as it's seasoned right, which I should have sat it in a marinade. Maybe I'll do that next time. Drain it out, freeze it, make a marinade that it could, you know, absorb in. You know what? I actually have tofu in the refrigerator that I have to make something with, so... We'll do that one a different way. And if you freeze the tofu, I heard extra firm is better. And it's funny because I was watching something on YouTube and the lady um, is Korean. And she says she doesn't drain out her tofu. So, who knows? But, I'll be back. I gotta watch my oil. You ever get a cut on your finger and you don't realize it until either you A, put hand sanitizer, 
B, wash your hands. Yeah, that just happened to me. You can't see it. Can you see it? I don't know what happened. And I would only say maybe when I was cutting the tofu, but I used the knife correctly. <laughs> At least I thought I did. Good thing I didn't get it too deep because that's a real mean cut. Can you see it? Can you see it? Right there, you see it. Ouch. That's what they look like. They look good. They look like chicken. Or fried tofu. <laughs> All right, for my first time trying, for my first time making tofu myself, it's not too bad. I need a lot of work. It tastes like fried mush. <laughs> like it that uh, tastes like fried mush. Like it's seasoned. I feel like I need to season the actual tofu. Well, and like the actual tofu in the flour because tofu absorbs the flavor of whatever you, you know, season it with, like a sponge. And a lot of the recipes that I've seen, they um, make like a marinade or a sauce, like trying to let it absorb flavor. And I think I should have did that. It's not bland. It's not bad. It's just. Tastes like fried mush. I really needed to season the tofu and maybe the flour more. So, oh, I can show you the texture inside. So, look, I'm not eating that one. So, it kind of gives you like the chicken, chicken texture, you see it? But, I didn't season it enough. So, it tastes bland. Well, on the plus side, I got rice, yellow rice and corn, and I got avocado. So, and it's not nasty. So, I can, I don't, I don't like saying force, but I can pick at it and it won't go to waste. <laughs> Well, I have to finish and get the rest of this out of the fryer and fry the rest in the mushrooms before I go to work. So, as always, thank you for tuning in with me here on the Really Cookie Vegan. And if you haven't already, please like, follow, you know, hit the little bell so you know when I make new videos. And subscribe. And share my page with your friends because why? You never know who is truly interested on what us vegans can eat besides salad. And this vegan doesn't like salad. I mean, if I had to eat it, I'll eat it. But if you gave me a choice, I ain't eating it. It's not rather starve than eat a salad. I mean, who decides they're hungry and actually wants lettuce? Not I. Give me french fries or a potato. Or even rice. Don't know for me a salad. Well, until next time. Bye. And cut. So real fast, my second batch, I let a little darker. See? So I let them cook a little more so they're a little darker. And it tastes a little better. So, I guess the trick with tofu is one. But it's not as mushy. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to throw the first batch back in there. But, so, cook it a little bit more golden brown. Season it more. And definitely let it absorb something. But it's okay. Because we're going to learn this tofu together. Because I, I don't know. I just refuse. I don't want to say not to like it. But, I'm going to make it so I like it. So, we're going to master this bad boy. But, for the first try, not too bad. Well, I gotta finish this so I can get ready for work. So, 
Until next time, guys. Bye.